Well, hey there, book lovers. We are doing another book unboxing. This time we're talking all about The Goose Girl and The Artificial, which is one of my newest releases. It actually comes out a week from tomorrow. I'm super excited because we are going to unbox the proof copies together. Are you guys ready for this? I'm super excited. This happens to be one of the coolest covers I've ever created, and I'm so excited to see this live for the very first first time. So let's go ahead and jump in. You guys know I've already popped the box open because those things are all kinds of difficult to be opening. And I nearly broke my nail. Just a side note, nearly broke my nail trying to get this one open. This was particularly hard. So here we go. Let's jump out my copies of The Goose Girl and The Artificial. So here we go. We've got this fabulous book, which is a retelling of Goose Girl. You guys don't know the story. You should read it. It's kind of shocking. And um, we did an artificial take on the Goose Girl and the artificial. So actually, let me go ahead and read the back cover to you. And then I will show you all the fun, fabulous stuff. You heard for the party, the unboxing party. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, so let's actually take a look. What would you do if your artificially intelligent handmaiden stole your identity? Threatened by her artificial Arta, Princess Goslin is forced to switch places and pretend she isn't human when she reaches Prince Corinth to negotiate a treaty they both need to be able to take their respective crowns one day. If she doesn't comply, her artificial, controlled by her evil cousin, will not only kill Goslin's mother, but Prince Corinth and his father as well. Can the quiet princess outsmart a machine created to be more intelligent than she is while surviving the other artificials and robots working against her in the foreign palace? Or will Corinth and his father find out and destroy her chance to save them all? So we've got this fabulous uh, retelling here. And this is actually a short story. It was inside of an anthology. And it has just been released. So we are now going public with this baby. There we go. So this is a short story version of it. It's pretty dang cool. Um, we've got all of these fancy like technology things. I'm pretty uh, pretty impressed with how this one turned out. I will say this looks a lot cooler uh, online on the ebook version. This It looks pretty cool, but it translates so much better in digital form. Although I will say it looks pretty dang cool on my screen right now. So I'm thinking it's like in person is not quite as cool as it is on a screen. I think it just translates really, really well on screen because what I'm seeing right now looks pretty awesome. In person, not quite what, not quite as sharp, but I think it translates on screen really, really well. Uh, Elbowman is in the comments saying, look at that beauty. And gosh, where on earth did you get the idea for that retelling? I, you know, I just came up with it. <laughs> Actually, I had written a story for that anthology and someone else wrote a very similar story. So instead of making the other person uh, have a conversation about who would change it, I knew I would someone who wrote really, really fast. And I decided that I would just pull my story, put it out myself and write another one. So in the course of a couple of days, I needed to pick a new topic and write an entire short story to send over to the anthology. And so I had to come up with a story that I didn't want to retell as a full length novel, which was really, really hard because I have some major plans for 2019 and 2020. And uh, so the fabulous Elle Beaumont's like, well, hey, here's a story you might consider. And I had never actually heard of Goose Girl before. And so I had to go read it. I was completely shocked at certain parts of it. There is a decapitation in this story of a horse who was then mounted on a wall and then talks. Uh, so it was a little bit of a shocking thing for me. And so I knew I did not want to uh, behead an animal. That was not something I was going to write. So how was I going to go about beheading something and mounting it on a wall for it to then talk later? Because when something's dead, it shouldn't talk, right? Yeah. So there, there were some things in that original story. I was like, I gotta, I gotta figure out a twist to this. What is my twist going to be? And I figured out it was going to be robots and artificially intelligent robots. And at that point, I was like, okay, okay, we can take a head off of a robot and then reassemble the robot so the robot can live at the end. I'm good with that. We can run with that. And that changed how I was going to be writing this retelling, or not changed, but it informed how I was going to write this retelling. And we got the Goose Girl and the Artificial. Uh, so we've got a an more plausible explanation for why this princess was okay with her handmaiden stealing her identity and then threatening everyone and why she couldn't tell people and why it was not the most horrible thing in the entire world to behead 
her butler robot and mount him to a wall to then talk later and then to reassemble him. So it was lots and lots of fun. Uh, Elle is a big fan of stories like that. I know that you are. Uh, one would think that I would be too, but <laughs> I, I draw the line when we get decapitate horses. <laughs> that was kind of one of my, oh, that's too much for me <laughs> moments. Um, she's not crazy about the decapitation, but the, the, but it was a super eerie story. Yes. Yeah. So we actually go on this journey with Princess Goslin, who is out to form a treaty with a prince from another kingdom. They are not getting married like in the original story. <clears throat> are they? Uh, they're not that they're not there for a marriage treaty. Let's just go with that. And she has her identity stolen by her artificial who looks, sounds and acts like a real human being, but is artificially intelligent and oh no, is controlled by her evil cousin who's trying to take the crown. And so he has changed this poor artificial's programming and he is in complete control now. She steals her identity and she has to pose as a handmaiden. And she has to not give herself away. And she ends up tending the geese with another artificially intelligent robot who kind of figures out what's going on. And she has to stop him from telling people. And she has to then figure out how to save everybody when they start threatening the king and prince from the foreign land. And then she has to figure out how to tell them without actually telling them and who's going to find out because everybody's watching at this point. And just, oh, drama, drama. But it is a very interesting story. And... Uh, Elle's favorite character was the king in my retelling. Yeah, he's pretty cool, right? The king is pretty cool. He's a smart gentleman, and he's very, very good about making sure these kids are kind of going where they're supposed to be going within this story. But he's also fantastic because he backs off, and he gives them the room to make decisions, to make mistakes, and to figure out how to succeed in the situations presented to them. So he's, he's actually a pretty cool dude. I, I did enjoy the uh, king inside of this story. And his wardrobe is pretty fancy too, which is pretty dang awesome. Uh, so the Goose Girl and the Artificial is going to be out a week from tomorrow. It will be available on 1218. And we are going to be having a double book release on December 18th. El Beaumont actually and I are going to be hanging out. Her Hunter's Truce is going to be available on the same day. So we're going to do some cool fun release day stuff to celebrate both of these releases as well. And you guys know, because I have a billion things going on, I also have a sugar-coated releasing tomorrow, my Hansel and Gretel retelling where the Wicked Witch isn't a villain. She's not a witch. She's actually Hans's girlfriend, and her job is to bake a Trojan or create a Trojan cake to sneak in 13-year-old assassin Gretel to kill the Mad King before he destroys Candace Strachan. So it's really interesting, very interesting look at this story, a dark twist to it. Obviously, their plan does not go well because she was painted by the history books as a villain and uh, bad things happen. So this is a heartbreaker. It comes out tomorrow. I'm super excited for it. Everybody's been raving about it. Make sure you get your hands on a copy of that as well. And then join me the following Tuesday a week from today for the Goose Girl and the Artificial and this super pretty cover. Let me just, just like how pretty those look together. Seriously, so pretty. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, I actually have to bounce over to Mermaid Current because I have another unboxing to do. If you want to come join me, I'm going to be unboxing uh, a super pretty jade colored, beautifully imperfect mermaid-esque shirt. It's super cute, and I've got a discount code for it if it's something you want. Like, uh -huh, Christmas is coming, guys. <laughs> so come check it out uh, at Mermaid Current over on Facebook. And also, when I'm done there, I will be bouncing over to Instagram on my KM Robinson Books account to show off the Goose Girl and the Artificial and my fabulous new shirt. Two for one. Come join me over there in a few minutes as well. I'll see you over on Mermaid Current. I will see you tomorrow to celebrate the release of Sugar Coated and all week long to celebrate the upcoming release of The Goose Girl and the Artificial. Thanks so much for joining me. I am Cam Robinson. You can find me at camrobinsonbooks.com and at Cam Robinson Books on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, IGTV, and YouTube as well. <clears throat> um, I would love to hang out with you and see you guys over there. Lots of fun things going on. And join me tomorrow for the release of Sugar Coated. I, I went to all of my notes and then I realized I didn't put them on screen. So I'm going over them again. Guys, it's a thing. Uh, if you have not checked out my Instagram stories, over the weekend I had a great event with um, an aquarium up north-ish 
uh, in Connecticut. And I actually hung out with my co-host, Elba Mott, for a little bit while we were there as well. And I'm doing some behind the scenes on Instagram stories of saxophone Santa serenading a beluga whale. A behind the scenes look at Alice in the Village, which is an Alice in Wonderland inspired shop. And uh, some other fabulous things while I was there as well. So make sure you hit up Instagram stories yesterday, today, tomorrow, whenever. Over the last couple of days, we've been showing off some really cool stuff. And you'll be able to see more on my social media at KM Robinson Books. So I'll see you guys over there. Thanks for joining me for the live unboxing of the This Girl in the Artificial. See you on Mermaid Current and then over on Instagram at KM Robinson Books. Until then, stay inspired. Bye, guys. <laughs>